it's that time again, all right? I'm so glad I'm making this video right now because this is something I needed to talk about. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of being left behind, knowing that the day of the Lord is coming sooner than anybody else realizes. It's gonna catch us completely off guard. No one's bound to be prepared for it. I'm afraid of being left behind because of the many sins I committed throughout my life, throughout now, this year, and the year after, the year before. I'm afraid that I may never change. I'm afraid of being a lukewarm Christian because of the many sins I've committed. I have one foot in my sins and one foot in my faith. And it's just, it's a scary thought, you know? I just, my mind wanders a bit and I just find myself alone. I find my, everyone I care about vanishing in just a blink of an eye because their faith is apparently more stronger than mine. Because I tend to just be a lukewarm Christian. It feels like I am. And I can't help it. I want to repent to every sin I have ever committed. The sins that I commit constantly, day after day, hour after hour. And the sins I'm more than bound to commit even after this video, even after today. And because of these sins, I'm afraid I'm going to be left behind because of it. I'm afraid that every time my mother goes off to work, she's not coming back because the rapture may have, may or may not have already happened. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I'm afraid. I put my faith in God. I'm begging him. I pray to him every night, every day to forgive me and to not leave me behind. I don't, I don't know if I'm secure or not. I don't know if, I, if I'm worthy to stand before our Lord. There's probably going to be people out there who say that I am, but I don't know if it's enough of other people's approval to make me believe that I'm worthy of standing before our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm, a, I'm afraid if I am left behind, I would be in a state of panic almost instantly knowing that my mother is never going to come back and I'm left here. I'm left here for... I'm left here in a world that's no doubt going to be governed by the most evilest man alive this moment after the rapture of the church. If I am left behind, I want to fight. I want to fight the Antichrist. I want to stand up to him. I want to continue to express my faith no matter what. I want to be willing to die because for my faith. I want I want to continue spreading on my faith knowing that I'm bound to be persecuted because of it during that time, during the great tribulation if I am left behind. No matter how afraid I am, no matter how panicked I am, no matter how many decisions could go horribly wrong, I am willing to fight for my faith. I'm willing to fight for as long as necessary, even if it is unnecessary, <laughs> because no doubt is God going to be doing all the fight for, fighting for us. He's going to save us. If I die here during the tribulation, and if I continue to express my faith after that, I am more than secure for being for being in heaven the moment after that. Because I I stay true to my faith. Even though I committed, commit sins, lustful sins, I'm willing to now confess that. I, I've been exposed to things. I continue to expose my things to, that, are, that are disgusting, that are vile. I don't know why I crave them. But I admit that I admit to that kind of stuff, that I expose myself daily to it. I will understand if some people are find, find that a bit uncomfortable, especially to any family out there who is watching this. I'm truly sorry for the sins I committed. I'm not just saying that to any of you, I'm saying that to the Lord. I, I know he's watching me every minute of every day. I know that he watches when I commit sin. He has to be, he is with me. 
He should be. I wish he is with me. I really do wish he's in my life. I want there to be hope. I want there to be a chance that I am not left behind because I am afraid. I know that I will be persecuted from the many, from the, from the faith I have in God. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid of how that's gonna go. I know I'm not gonna be alone in this. There will be others There'll be others who may not believe. Others like me. It's a possibility, a huge possibility even, that we will be left behind. But we have to hold on to faith. The thought of just, the thought of everybody just vanish, vanishing in the twinkling of an eye, as the Bible says. It's a scary thought, but it is proof that God is real, that Jesus is real, and that he just snatched a whole bunch of people out of this world. I believe in that. It's proof that Jesus is alive, that he rose from the dead the third day he was, he was crucified on that cross. It's proof that he is coming soon. And if, and if it happens, it's proof that he has shown up, he's returning, and that we need to be ready for it. It's proof that he just snatched up whole bunch of people so, to, oh, so that they always be with him you can't deny this no one there's no denying what is happening around the world the signs of the end times all the lawlessness all the war all the genetic tempering all the persecutions of christians and other and pe faith, people of faith alike all this all of america just being sucked in, in, the, in their in their pride in their sin you can't deny that we are living in the last days right before Jesus' return. It's, you can't deny the wildfires and natural calamities that are happening all around the world. It's basically hell on earth. But hell will be even far worse than any of us could ever imagine. And I, and, and I would feel pity for all those who would be left behind. I would feel pity for myself if I'm left behind. And I pray that... I pray that there's a chance. I pray that there's still time. I pray that I am worthy to stand before my Lord. I pray the same for others, that they turn to Jesus, no matter how much time is left, that there's still a sliver of a chance, a sliver of time left, that we may be saved, that we may be caught up with all others to be with Him forever. Expressing this now, it shows how much I'm afraid. It show shows how much I'm committed to my faith. My faith. I'm afraid that of my sins. I'm afraid that I have not believed hard enough. I'm afraid of not living the way Jesus lived. I've been lazy. I've been gluttonous. I've been lustful. I've been a whole bunch of sins that anybody else could be right now. I know I'm not alone, but I am afraid. Because I'm afraid that I may be the only one in my family who, who may be left behind. I, I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know if I'm worthy. I don't know if I'll be taken along with all others who believe. Even if I'm, even if I'm taken with, taken with everybody else, what about my family? What if there's somebody in there who I love and care for in my family, yet they were a non-believer? They did not commit. They did not put their faith in the Lord. It's kind of ironic considering I come from a Catholic family. And yet I'm a Christian. <laughs> I'm afraid that even if I'm left behind, there will, there will be others... Uh, who I love and care for that will be caught up. And if I'm caught up, then who will be left behind? Who is it that I love and care for that hasn't committed? I'm truly afraid of all the possibilities. I know I'm overthinking this, but I'm just afraid. But I'm not giving up faith. I'm not giving up faith. I keep saying that word. I pray that there's a chance for all of us, for every single one of us to be redeemed, to repent, to give glory to God, to pray that we are worthy to stand before our Lord on that day. I pray that there is a chance. Please. 
please, dear Lord, let there be a chance for all of us to be saved, to be with you always. As we watch and pray for your return, let there be a chance. I beg of you, dear Lord, have mercy on me, have mercy on all of us. I pray that this message gets out there, that their people are willing to make the same message, that they are willing to confess that they are afraid of being left behind as well. I beg of the Lord to have mercy on us all. I will continue to do so for as long as possible. If I am left behind, then so be it. I know I have committed many sins, and I am truly sorry for every single one that I've done or ever will do, because there is no stopping sin. It's a part of our life, but we can't let it control us. We can't be consumed by it. We put our faith in our Lord for the reason, because He saved us. He paid the price for our sins, and we need to honor that by putting our faith in Him, because He rose again on that third day. He ascended into heaven, and now He is returning as sooner as possible than we think. I'm so glad I made this message today. I pray that it gets out there. I pray that others do the same. Can Keep watching, everybody. The Lord is coming sooner than we think. We need to be ready if any, any way possible. It takes faith in Him to, be, to die with oneself, to be persecuted for our faith. No matter, no matter what, we need to live like Jesus. To live like Jesus that makes us children of God. We are God's creation, but to be His children, we need to live like Jesus lived. We need to put our faith in Him. We need to do everything we can to always be with God. Because He is the tr- oh, because Jesus is the one and only true way to heaven. I believe that and I pray that others believe it soon. No matter how much time we have left, I'll never stop making these messages. I'll create, uh, they'll always be late, they'll always be um, little to nothing, but they're powerful messages. Uh, They're powerful messages, one of many, and I'll never stop expressing my faith. Even if I am persecuted for it, I will never stop. So keep watching, everybody. Keep watching and praying for the Lord's return because this is happening sooner than we think. To all those who are non-believers alike, if you were left behind, then take the chance to turn to Jesus because he is the only one who could save you. Be ready, everybody, because our Lord is coming sooner than we think. God bless you all.